today we are creating a dynamic calendar you can just select the month from the drop down the year exactly the same from the drop down and you're going to have the dates auto populated so i'm going to walk you through how you can be able to do this step by step until you're able to exactly do this for your own and by the way, if you want trainings for individuals or even groups, you can get in touch. Or even if you want templates for your business or even for personal use, you can get in touch through the email in the video description. Okay, so first of all, let's open a new sheet. Let's make it a little bit larger so that we'll be able to see what's happening there. So the first thing I'm going to do, uh, I'm definitely going to name this calendar maybe let's start off with january january 2023 so there will be Monday. this will be the year and this this now will be now the weekdays we start off with monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday uh let me try to center this across selection right click go to format cells go to alignment for the general, click on a center across selection, click on OK. And I go to home, change this font to look a little bit better, change the font color. Uh, let's go to this other one here. First of all, I want to create, I want to create borders. So, uh, borders and then the outer thick border. The same thing for this one all the borders and then click on a thick outside border so it looks like that now we have our playground this is where we are going to have specific dates and uh, we can continue customizing this should be slightly let's say green and for this one we can uh, give it something like uh, that will look okay so for this one the weekdays I want that to have a separate color like that and then this other one here we're going to have that will now be the weekend something like uh, yeah that shade of gray now we are almost done so now we should start inputting our formulas so the first formula will be here so that will be easy for me to just hide that one so that we don't get to know what's working behind the scenes and also i'm going to create a data validation but before we even input the formula first of all let me create a data validation here uh so we start off with a month january february all the way we can even add some more months here. Th this will be years let's go to somewhere up to that point so now we have months and then we have years so we now want to create data validation from this data so for the months click on that then go to data click on a uh, data validation this one there then uh, we want to select a list and then the source of the list that should be here so click on ok you can see we have a card drop down so i can easily select what i want to select so go to the second one this is now the year and uh, do exactly the same click on ok we have the drop down icon here and now you can be able to select whatever year that you want to select and now let's go to the formula part which should be the date value tab and then you're going to append that one to the first cell here so you're going to put I don't know what to call that one. I'll, I'll look it up later. And we are also going to append that to the year. And then we close the formula, hit on enter, and now we have this. Now we want to hide this thing. Right click on it, go to format cells, go to number, click on custom, clear general, and uh, put three semicolons. Click on OK, and the number disappears. So it's, it's there, but you cannot see it. So go to home. I want to share this one so that at least we definitely know there's something going on there so that we don't mess with that cell at all at all so uh now we have the first formula there we are now headed to the next one first of all because you're going to refer this one it will be easier if we just name this cell so that it will be easy for us to just refer to that cell so highlight that name there then username i'm going to use my name there 
and now this cell is named so anytime you're going to refer to that function inside there we can be able to just do that by just typing in the name of that cell so now let's go ahead and type our formula so i'm going to save you the time of typing this long thing i'm going to include it in the description box so that you just copy and paste but then you'll have to change uh, the references like this one the first one the second you'll have to change that so that should be able to fit in your data now mine i named mine exactly that so we can just go ahead and close the bracket because we are now we are done with the formula hit on enter and you can see we have some yeah numbers yeah because now the table is formatted to general what i want to do is to have only days i right click go to format cell and uh, click on general that's on number uh, change it from general to custom and for the custom just put d i click on ok and now we have the numbers that we want so we can now simply go ahead and uh, start doing our thing i want specific looking uh, borders like i want that one oh no let's change to that one i want them here and uh, also that point there so we're good to go hit on okay so we now have those borders and i can now comfortably have a thick outside border and that's what you have so let me change and see whether it's working yeah definitely working but before we do that let's go and confirm whether this calendar is accurate go to february today is on a 10th so let me change the year to go back all the way to 2023 so 10th is on a Friday. If I check on my calendar, 10th is on a Friday. Also, 17th will still be on a Friday. So the calendar is so accurate. You can go all the way to whatever year you want to. Like 2040, we are going to have a year. On February, you are going to have 10th. Where is 10th? 10th will be on a Sunday. After seeing that this is working, we can comfortably now hide that one and also hide this other one here because that's the source of our data. It's, it's irrelevant. So we hide it and now you can protect the whole sheet and leave only these two cells. So again, if you like what you're doing here, like the video and share that out. If you have not subscribed, can you do so and hit the notification bell. I have so many things lined up. So don't miss them.